Every show is a different world. Every show brings me to a different place. And it's a little bit of an escapism, I suppose, <laughs> which is good. Sometimes I'll be out gardening and I'll find a beautiful leaf or something and I'll get inspired by the shades of color within that leaf, how it's disintegrating and how it's aged. Peter Fonda once wore this in a film. <laughs> There's so many different materials in the world to work with and so many different stories. Nancy has an amazing eye for detail, from the fabric choices to the undergarments to the color schemes. She's meticulous about the way it looks to the audience, but she's also meticulous about the way that it feels to the actor. She's so generous with her teaching as well. It takes quite a while to find just the right fabric that's gonna move well and that will actually rebound well because it has to survive an entire performance. Every aspect of the garment she's really paying attention to and how it drapes and falls on the body and how it moves. I feel like there's just a little, a little bit, bit too, too much, much right there. there. Yeah. No, it looks beautiful. There's movement and I think it'll be great on her. Nancy's life and work and creative practice are all woven together in the most beautiful way. They are inextricable from each other. I love to kind of dive into the story and get to the center of it and get all the visual material I can possibly find. I'll put together these sheets that have ideas just to sort of get some visuals going. And then at some point, the images aren't quite enough and I have to start drawing. During the time that I'm drawing, I'm thinking about the mechanics of it and thinking about the types of materials that might actually work and thinking about how the performer will actually be able to move and breathe and do what's necessary. I think if there's a through line to Nancy's work, something that is so distinct and recognizable, about what she does is that every costume that she makes looks like it has its own backstory. It looks like it's been worn. It looks like it's been through whatever the character has been through. She has found a way to take all of the classicism and all of the established ideas that she's learned and put them into the most contemporary vision she really appreciates everyone and the work they've put in. Like, even if you're an understudy or you're just a stitcher, she believes everyone is important. With every person working in the shop, the more they know about the characters or the environment or the world that we're creating together, the better it is for the project. And in the end, you'll get a team of people creating one thing, one world and they'll understand it and they'll be with you and they'll work through it with you till the end. A good artist is somebody who goes to the center of things and finds the truth about them and then explodes them into something you didn't expect. I like to create new things because there's so much more we can learn from new ways of looking at things in the world. The world is changing so fast and we need to look at it in a way that makes meaningful sense to all of us, that actually brings us to a better place, to a better world somehow.